Well, good evening and welcome back to Real America's Voice and Just the News' special election coverage, Our Republic at Risk. I'm Eric Greitens. As you know, here on this channel, we respect your intelligence, we honor you as a citizen, and here we listen to you and we work for you. Now, based on your feedback about what you wanted to hear tonight, there's a lot to cover and we've got a great team to do it. And we're going to be talking with folks on the Real America's Voice team around the country. Because folks, it's been one week since Election Day. And while the mainstream media are all in for Joe Biden, a new survey published at Just the News shows that the American people are waiting to make up their own mind. Fewer than half of all Americans believe that Joe Biden legitimately won the election. Many have said that they're not sure yet or believe that President Trump won. Now, part of the reason why so many tens of millions of Americans distrust the mainstream media and the Democrat Party is for the simple reason, Democrat double standards. Today, the left and the mainstream media are telling conservatives to accept the media's judgment about the election. But of course, in the days after the 2016 election, Hillary Clinton claimed that Russia had infiltrated the U.S. election. The Clinton campaign was at the root of the Russia collusion hoax. And Clinton's conspiracy theory grabbed hold in the mainstream media, which breathlessly reported that the election may have been stolen. Trump was investigated for 675 days by special counsel Robert Mueller and a team of 19 lawyers. And as you know, despite 2,800 subpoenas and 500 witness interviews, prosecutors found no evidence that any U.S. person or Trump campaign official conspired with Russians during the 2016 campaign. Still, the mainstream media had no problem propagating the conspiracy theory that Clinton was robbed, and they did it for years. And it didn't end there. In 2018, when Democrat Stacey Abrams lost her race for governor of Georgia, she said afterwards and repeatedly, that the Republican governor was not legitimate. Now, was she denounced for this by her party? Did the mainstream media castigate her for what she said? No. In fact, the Democrats awarded Abrams and asked her to represent the entire Democratic Party by giving the Democratic response to the State of the Union address. And it didn't end there. Just weeks ago, Hillary Clinton said this about what Joe Biden should do. Take a listen. So we've got to have a massive legal operation. I know the Biden campaign is working on that. We have to have poll workers, and I urge people who are able to uh, be a poll worker. We have to have our own uh, teams of people to counter the the force of intimidation that the Republicans and Trump are going to put outside polling places. This is a big organizational challenge, but at least we know more about what they're going to do. And, you know, Joe Biden should not concede under any circumstances because I think this is going to drag out. And eventually, I do believe he will win if we don't give an in. So th there was Hillary Clinton saying that Joe Biden should not concede under any circumstances. And of course, it's not just Democrat double standards around the election. When it came to the coronavirus, some Democrat politicians made it illegal to go to church, illegal to sing in church. But many of them said nothing when riots happened around the country. They were strangely silent as mass gatherings of rioters and looters committed arson and assault across the country. And you know what? The double standards continue today. When the media weighed in on Biden's behalf, many of the people who had wagged their fingers at Americans who wanted to go to church did this.
so much for social distancing. They said it was good for you, but not for them. And today, former vice president claims that he wants people to unite. But look at these messages. These are messages of prominent Democrats calling for supporters of the president, supporters of President Trump, to be blacklisted, broken, burned down. They claim that anyone who voted against Biden was supporting hate. Now, the meaning of Democrat double talk changes from one minute to the next. And that's why conservatives and outsiders are saying clearly to the left and the mainstream media, we don't trust you. We trust the Constitution, and that's what will follow.